Welcome to this showcase of two self-refilling gravity block pusher designs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now these are basically gravity block pushers, or sand pushers as you may know them, that refill themselves using snow layers from snow golems. Now if you don't know what a gravity block pusher is, you may have heard it called a sand pusher. This is not my design, this is a typical 1.16 sand pusher that I've seen in quite a few places. Now this basically works by having four gravity blocks in a bubble column or a cobweb and pushing them against a partial block or just pushing them in general. Now this design works great for 1.16 current releases however in the 1.16.100.51 beta they made a change that means falling gravity blocks will break after 30 seconds of falling. That means that designs like this will stop working because the sand, or whatever gravity block you have, will break after 30 seconds. Now to combat that, I made this. This is the snow pusher. Or well, my first design for it anyway. This is basically a sand pusher that refills itself with snow layers. These pistons will alternate that one will fire, a snow layer forms on top of it, then it retracts, the snow layer falls, and this one pushes it into the bubble column. That means that it will refill itself faster than it runs out, so you will actually not end up having a gravity block pusher that breaks after 30 seconds, because it will refill itself. If I go turn this on, this 8 game tick clock will unlock, that piston will start moving, that piston will also extend and turn on this observer clock, which will make these pistons start moving. I can do that. You can see the snow layers get pushed into the bubble hole. If I can stand in front of it, I get pushed quite far. Now if I turn this off, I'm going to show you my other design. This is a much more compact version that I designed after doing this one. Now this relies on a bug fix in 1.16.100.51 that will mean that a very annoying bug has been fixed. If I go and show you it real quick, this bug will mean that falling gravity, blo gravity blocks will break when the block under them is retracted, like that. Which is very annoying, it breaks all kinds of piston doors and other things. However, that's, that was fixed in 1.16.100.51, which means you can just use a piston moving back and forward to make the snow layers. The piston will extend, the snow layer forms, it will retract, the snow layer falls and then extend, and the, the snow will go in the bubble column. This won't work yet, because the bug has not been fixed, but if I turn it on, you can see it's much smaller, and much nicer that one. This again uses an 8 game to clock to move the pistons at max piston speed. And I think it's a pretty good design. You can probably make it more compact. However, I'm not going to. Or at least not yet. Uh, last thing I want to show you is how to make these bubble columns without water. The snow layers will actually break if they land in water. I can show you this by letting the snow layer go in water. To fix that, you just remove the water from the snow layer. In here I have a bucket. I just dispense the bucket into the water, and as you can see, there is a bubble column with no water. That's fully possible in survival, and it's the only way to make this work with bubble columns. I would like to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and have a nice day. Goodbye.